Good kitten internet and welcome back to Vandal Hearts. Um, I finally remembered to actually change my little customizable right stick where I will no longer be saving and loading states randomly. Uh, I am going to need to change that once I play another game, but we've got a while for that. Oh, I need to make a copy of the save. One moment. There we go. Okay. Think. Mm. I have my volume a little high. And my speakers are not pointed at me. There. Of course, again, I'm still sitting in a slightly weird position because even though I've turned my camera, this is the center of my desk. Um, part of the reason why, again, is the position I have to keep my green screen. So here, let me zoom out really fast and you'll see what I mean. You can see, this is the actual setup that I'm dealing with. So the green screen being a freestanding object that's not very tall, it's right behind me. I could actually stand it upright instead, but then it doesn't balance on anything. Also, monitor. Because my camera is actually behind my monitor by probably about 14 or 15 centimeters. Let's zoom back in. There we go. And then I sit back down, normal. Okay, we're in Chuck Testa Village, right. Um, last I checked, there was nothing available for sale here, but I'm checking again. Yeah. Uh, the only thing new is Magic Stones, which I do actually want to pick up. Um, I want... Okay, Zohar has one. I want Huxley to have one. I don't really need Huxley to have one now that I think about it. Let's get some high herb. So basically from now on, whenever I use a healing item, I'm going to replace it with a high herb. That's eventually I'll probably end up selling my herbs. Actually, you know what? I should probably do that now. I have plenty of money. And herbs are no longer useful. Uh, let's go ahead and move that unicorn horn out from Zohar and put it in somebody useful. Um, unfortunately, we actually don't have the party members in which that would be the most useful. Uh, that would be our flyers. We have zero flyers right now. In fact, we only have one archer. What happened to Archer Force 3, huh? Huh? Anyway. Um, let's see. What was I doing? Oh, right. So hard. Unicorn head. We're going to move to... I think Sarah, actually. Because she's the next highest movement. No. And what do we have in here? Oh, we actually have a high herb in here. Let's save some money. Uh, we've got key. We've got two gold coins. We also have the moon pie, which we have no idea what the hell the moon pie does. Uh, fairy boots, which we also have no idea what it does. An odd banana and macroman, which is one of the three collector's treasures. Uh, the next treasure is actually this coming battle. Uh... You can take the other cure potion. So for reference, the gold coins are just money. So I'm not gonna bother selling them until I actually need money. Uh, the keys on the other hand are for the optional battles. The mood ring and magic, uh, mood ring is a one use item. I believe same with the moon pie and the fairy boots, but we really don't remember. Do I have any, okay. All right, let's fill up everything else with high herbs. Weird that they changed that in this translation. There we 
There we go. That'll do. Okay. Then let's head off. Uh, I seem to remember the next battle being short, but that could just be my memory. But before we head off, let's talk in the tavern. It's been three years after all. Uh, before Emperor of Hell came to power, people thought the Royalists were behind the terrorist attacks. But I say those were all scams to set up, set up by Hell and his people to get rid of their political opponents. We actually don't know the answer to that, by the way. Remember, not everything points at Hell Spites being an evil megalomaniac. And don't get me wrong, he is an evil me megalomaniac, but... Ah, uh, yes. The lad. The Empire has been doing strange things. On one hand, they're busy stamping out rebels, but on the other hand, they're digging up ruins and collecting ancient relics. What's up with that? What in the world is going on? What is that accent? Ah, uh, yes. The Empire's army is just full of scoundrels. It's mostly made of criminals and mercenaries, but the Crimson Guard, led by Emperor Hell himself, is something different. I've heard that the top there are five Crimson Generals. It's said that none of them have ever been bested in personal combat. Gee, I wonder if that's going to be important. Alright. Let's leave Testa Village. See, we have a normal world map now. And we're at the Basil Gate. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Basel, but that's okay. Ah, uh, yes, this music. This music is, in my mind, the music that comes up when everything has gone horribly wrong. It sounds much better on Saturn than it does on the PS1. The PS1, it just sounds really obnoxious and grating. I'm not gonna just let us pass. Not expecting us, to, so let's hit him hard. So we're basically just slamming into the front gates of this prison right now. There you go. Oh, this is a standard battle. Victory is kill everybody, defeat conditions, death of ash. This is gonna be the last one of these we're gonna have for a while, by the way. I always forget which one of those is which. Let's go back to distant zoom. All right, so one thing to note in this battle is that people are actually spread out. Like, or not spread out, um, on the opposite side of the battlefield. We're the ones that are spread out. We also have more circles. Uh, if I remember right, this is the second to last spot in the game that you could do the grind up to level 40 thing. It might be third to last, I can't remember. Also, there are important things that we need to know for this battle. Um, how many items are there? I closed that tab, didn't I? Yes, I did. Or I should say it's in one tab. By the way, um, I don't know how many of you are hopelessly tab browse maniacs like I am, where I frequently have hundreds of tabs open. Um, one tab is a great extension to manage that. It just shoves everything into an HTML file and kind of treats it as bookmarks. Okay, we are on Basel Gate. Um, Southeast Corner and North Regen Square. So yeah, that's one of them. Uh, that is the Iron Boot. The other one is in a weird spot, I want to say. Yep, here. This is the one we absolutely need to get. If we do not get this item, we are resetting. Because that is another of the uh, key items. That's the collector's item for this level. So what I would like to do is kind of just position somebody up here to just start spellcasting like mad. Or archers. Uh, where is Diego in the party lineup. Diego's on that side. Of course he is. So I'm guessing Diego's gonna end up in the middle. Not great. 
kind of want Diego over here. So I'm going to move him over here. So, the enemy... Oh, I should actually point out the enemy. Uh, the enemy is the exact same type of units that we saw before. They're higher level. Which means we should always check the mages. Okay, you still only have rainbow stroke. You still only have he the ridiculous and absurd healing. Oh, um, in the treasure chests, the this one here is just a mega herb. And the other one's a mage gem. So they're things that we can buy. So I don't really care about them. can get hit from that? I was not expecting that. This I was expecting. And this is a problem because that's an armor unit. But they're going to be taking a crap ton of damage. Yeah, 77. Ugh. I mean, what I really wanted was a concentration of things that I'm going to be hitting with the phase shift, because phase shift is awesome. As I mentioned, you're going to see me casting that a lot. Oh, before I do that, before a uh, certain Candace complains, let's go ahead and save. Okay, internal. Honestly, not sure if this side moving up makes the most sense. Uh, no, it does not. I mean, yeah, I can hit five. Pretty sure I can hit five on the other side, I bet. Um, I'm not going to do this, but out of curiosity, this would be my best option of hitting six, seven. I mean, that would be nice, but all of them need to die because otherwise Zohar is going to be in a world of pain. Actually, wait. I've got a better plan. Let's enter them all first. Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> and... Go after the flyer with the archer. That should make things quite a bit squishier. Maybe I can actually do that. You know what? Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, um... Sarah, do you know any new magic yet? You know Healing Circle now. Okay, good. So Healing Circle is a small area of effect healing spell. Heals herself and everybody immediately around her, but it's the same power as Healing Plus, so she actually does have the ability to heal better now. Which is important because, um... Gonna do something dumb. By the way, phase shift. What? Funk. 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 Oh, you still have one hit point. Damn it, they're all nearly dead, but not actually dead. Well, that one's dead, but I was hoping to do a little better than that. Um, Ash, can I don't think you can reach with rolling fire. Now, you can reach one. That doesn't help. Uh, you can't help either. I'm going to just have to take them all down one at a time, aren't I? And that's a problem because I can't reach the warlock. The warlock is going to be a problem.
Let's just start murdering. I really put myself out of position on this. Okay. I have to move Sarah first if I'm going to have Sarah heal. And I think I would rather have Sarah heal. Healing circle. So this is what monk healing spells look like, by the way. Ooh, this actually looks slightly different than the PlayStation version. Right. Yay, you're healed back up. Zohar is healed too, just because. And so am I. I gain 3 XP. But you're dead. This is probably a terrible idea, and I'm betting I'm going to end up restarting... Okay, that is too tall. I to make sure. Hux, do you actually have any offensive attack spells yet? No. Okay, you do actually need to move. I want to make sure Grog is at max. I guess I didn't really need to cast Healing Circle after all because of that setup. Oh well. A bit late now. I'm a little concerned that this was a terrible idea. And that's everyone. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a reload. Because ugh, they all ended up at one hit point. Yeah, Hux is going to be in trouble. Okay. Frog, that's a good sign. I was expecting them to all go after... Okay, they're all going after Grog. I don't know if Grog can take that or not. I don't think he can. Yep, Bloodbat down there. Centurion, yep, they're all trying to kill Grog. And Grog's dying here. Oh. He's alive, but he's not going to be alive for long. Because that last Centurion's going to end up falling upon his blade. Yeah. Yep, that's going to be a reload. Why is it always Grog that ends up dying? Okay, and the Deacon ends up healing. Okay, that's not who I would have healed, but okay. Oh, AIs. Alright, let's try that again. A little less dumb this time. I'm just going to start over. You know what? We haven't done anything yet. So some of these ideas were sound. Like, having Diego kick the boulder down to hit everyone is a great plan. And stashing a healer here is generally a good idea. But I'm not going to put Grog in that corner. Just like I am going to have Dolan here. I'm going to be a little more cautious. Remember, I need to get that item, and that's in that corner. Which means that that stuff is probably going to end up being by the wayside. Although, 
I'd like to get the iron boot just because I have no idea what that does. They're all lining up really well. I have four in the line again. Push. Oh, I forgot to save first. Ah, uh, not great. Now I actually have to move him and... Okay, let's assume that I do the stupid. How many do I hit? I hit a lot of people. It's worth it. Let's go. I may end up having to reload again because I forgot to save at the start. What I'm angered by is the two remaining hit points. I don't suppose Ash is... Yeah, actually, Ash is close enough to be able to do something about this now. Rolling fire. I can hit two that way. Yeah, I can hit two or two. So I'm going to hit these two. I mean, Zohar is not exactly a good blocker, but I killed two enemies this turn, and I'm going to be killing lots more, and they're very weak at this point. Yeah, this is the problem, is that... Okay, it can at least go up to here. Not great. Um, you know what? I might as well actually make a save. I'm getting greedy, I know. Can you attack the flyer? Yeah, you can. Good job, Diego. They're dead. I don't want to deal with the flyer on top of everybody else. Go ahead and jump up and down and level up tribute. Tribute. Celebration. Words. Words are hard. Okay. I can have Grog stand in front, but we've already seen what happens when Grog gets attacked by too many targets. Okay, where can these two goobers go? You can go out to here. Okay. You can go out to here. So if I stand here, I'll only get attacked by one. I am really tempted to use the stupid unicorn head. Even though I would only hit two people with it, I should have thought about it and had... Yeah, that would have made sense. Oh well. Because I could have actually hit a bunch of targets, although Sarah's the highest level party right now, right? Or one of the highest. Um... So I'm a little concerned that I'm not going to even make it to that corner before everybody's dead. I'm probably going to need to start... Oh, no, that's right. There's a healer in this battle. I'm not too concerned about it, then. <coughs> Although, if I take that one out, Grog standing here is not going to be a problem. Oh so, yeah, I'm actually going to use the weird unicorn head. Yes, that's right, I'm actually using consumable items. I know, blasphemy. Hmm. I got the warlock too, sweet. That made things easier. Mystic Shield. 
We should give a decent chunk of XP. Yep, that's enough to level. Jump up and down as you do. And that's everybody. All right, that turn went a lot better than the previous turn. So I still have to deal with these goobers. Wait, oh, I guess that's not technically... Yeah, they're out of melee range. So I'm going to be dealing with two attacks on Grog, but that's fine. It was two attacks on Grog or two attacks on Ash. That was inevitable. Centurion's going to attack because I'm manipulating AI script as usual. Honk. That was foolish of you. Ooh, 67 XP. Nice. I wasn't paying attention how much XP I was getting from these. Whoops. Deacon's going to go heal. That's fine. Basically, the AI script for healers in this game will cause them to run away, which means that I don't have to worry too much about them, if I remember correctly. All right. Drug needs some healing. Dolan needs some smashies. It's at full hit points, but... Well, how about I knock its hit points down first? From the front, but that's okay. Or not. Damn it. Not great. Because I'm weak against them. But I'm also higher level, so I'm not as concerned. Now Dolan can probably... Sm I don't know if I can kill him. Yes. The answer is yes. Dolan jumps up and down again. They're getting power leveled. I do like the way this works, by the way. Right. Frog needs to be healed before I do anything, does it? And I'm going to have him go after that Grenadier, and that Grenadier is being taken after by Ash. So, actually, we're doing this first. You're dead. Oh, now you have the offensive magic. See? Holy Lightning. Single target, but it has a reasonable range, and hey, look, it's offensive magic on a healer. Always, always a plus. Speaking of a plus, healing plus. Sup. Uh, I'm not doing enough damage. I'm going to have to have multiple. No, not phase shift. Phase shift. Well, I love phase shift being the answer to everything. It's not actually the answer to everything. Um, I don't think I can do enough damage to a grenadier. Let's do some science, shall we? Did I forget to save at the start of this turn too? Just dawned on me. But to be fair, the battle's basically over at this point. The only thing I'm going to be doing is collecting items. So, can Roman fire do enough damage? Let's find out. Do enough damage to the frame rate of the game? No, it cannot. It only does 37. Pack of ram. Cartridge ram. In battle save! Dolan looking creepy as usual. In that case, I'll bind the healer. Oh, oh well. I'll just bound the Grenadier now that I think about it. 
Uh, okay. Not who I would have targeted, but sure. Yep. And the healing as expected. Okay. Grog's going after the... No, I don't want him to kill the healer. That's right. Well, I'm going to have two people going after the Grenadier anyway, so it won't be that big of a deal. I can't have more than two. Why did I move the slow people up here again? Oh, I'll heal next turn. Hi. Yeah, you're gonna die. And Grog's lower level than Ash, so... I figured he deserved the kill. Really tend to just thwack him. But he's even injured up here. Eh. No, I'm not going to use the infinite exploit. But I will absolutely cast it on every turn that I'm actually doing things. Zohar. I don't think you've hurt me before. Spellbind. Oh, I should have moved to the other side of him. Derp. Not that it mattered. Pretty sure I'd kill him. Also, I forgot to save at the start of the turn. Again. Just really bad at remembering that, aren't I? Make sure I don't kill him. I want him injured. I don't want him dead. There we go. That's what I wanted. So he'll go run off into the corner and heal himself. Or run up and heal himself. That's fine, too. Actually, that's easier. Because then he can't run off anymore. There's only two spots that can go up that ladder. And it's really easy to block him off. And they can't attack me back. Although I can't reach with... Or, reach with Grog. Yeah, see? I can't attack. Just very light yourself, it's fine. Yeah, if it weren't for the fact that I'm going to try to grab all of the loot on this combat, uh, this would have been over super fast. Okay. You need to move out of the way first, because uh, otherwise I'm going to end up bonking somebody. Long. Might as well. Eight. Okay, what is my range on? Healing circle height wise. Okay, I can reach up there. Good. Because Dolan's gonna end up grabbing the treasure chest. She's gonna end up grabbing from the cross. Get off another healing circle! Everybody hold hands! Yeah, it's just the golden effect, if I remember correctly, along with a different sparkly effect. The PS1 version. So that is a different spell effect. Neat. And I gained some XP. 
Um... I mean, you might as well. Only costing him 2 MP, and if it works, I gain XP. If it doesn't work, nothing happens. Like that. Alright. We're in what my friend calls garbage time now. Salmon. We gained tarot... a uh, rider card. What the hell? Tarot. Weird. Whap. I mean, if the treasure just opened the other way, that one would have actually made sense. There's the other one. There's the iron boot. Fairy boots. Ah! Same thing that I have in the rest of my inventory. Got it. Almost. Not quite. Next turn, I'll be able to end the pain. But instead, I'm going to try to spellbind you again, because why not? Eh, didn't work. Doing nothing, because you can only move up, and you can't attack anyone. Actually, uh, Zohar, you're gonna cast magic. Um, I'm gonna cast phase shift just because. So, warning, phase shift. Fast forwarded. Yep, it does four points more damage. Phase shift is done. Now it's time for archery. There we go, and battle is over. Oh, I forgot to actually grab the other item. Oh well. It was just a mage gem. I mean, that would have been nice. That's at least valuable, and I used them. Even though I haven't used one yet. Bloop, bloop. A relatively short battle. I mean, ten minutes of this time was garbage time, and I restarted it once, and it's still less than 40 minutes, so... Mm, plot. <laughs> Don't ever fill everyone in. First, take a look at this. This is the famous magic stone discovered three years ago in the ruins of the citadel we believe to be Thoreau's Ark. Our empire's special archaeological team has been studying the magic stone in order to find its true nature. And they have finally reached a conclusion. This magic stone is none other than the flames of judgment, the ultimate power humanity could ever possess. Flames of judgment? Is it from the Genesis? Indeed. The forbidden power that destroyed the prosperous ancient empire of Biruni overnight. The force that brought the world to the very edge of destruction. <laughs> don't make me laugh. I admit that the stone's unusual, but I don't believe it has the power to evaporate entire cities or destroy the world. You're right. Currently, something called the Royal Ring is keeping its true power in check. The Royal Ring. Please, think back to the account of Genesis. It's said that Terora saved the world by sealing the flames of judgment with a ring he received from God. The ring was then passed to his descendants. According to Terora's will, they were to found a country for the purpose of protecting this ring. That was the birth of the Holy Kingdom of Asha. But over the course of time, the royal family forgot its original then, when the royal family was ruined following the revolution, the ring was lost with them. 
So you want us to find this ring, huh? Well, I don't like it. The Crimson Guard are all the power that need to rule this country. Listen to me for a moment. Forcing the masses to yield through force is simple indeed, but governing them requires a different kind of power altogether. People like you, capable of living through their own strength and resourcefulness, are a rare breed. The average man is a foolish creature who put his fate in the hands of an unfathomable god. A symbol. In that case, what better symbol than the flames of judgment to represent my empire's rule over its subjects? Heed my words. The groundwork of my empire is complete. Now it must follow its destiny and conquer the continent. To achieve this ambition, we must find the royal ring, even if we are to comb through every single strand of grass. Plot. Nope. Um, this is going to be plot for the next video, I think. Yeah, we'll do it for this video. Um, this is going to get a little weird because I think we have another situation where there's two battles back to back. But we'll go ahead and continue and we'll just start the next video at the start of the next battle, I guess. Hey, look, it's our little traitor, Kira. What are you doing feeling sad? What are you feeling sad about, Kira? Oh, uh, Master Dolph. You still feel bad about betraying your friends? N no. <laughs> no need to hold back, but Kira? Someone who never lets go of such feelings. Not qualified to be an adventurer. No way you could simply forget. I think this is a different translation. I don't remember these exact lines from the PlayStation 1 version. And it's hinting at something that's not quite obvious. About the anger, the grief, the pain of losing your parents and siblings. Of course I haven't forgotten. Kira, I know exactly how you feel. People must realize what's happening in this country. Hell and his minions are sacrificing countless innocents, and for what? All to pursue his insane goal of world domination. That's right. Dolph isn't quite in Hell's pockets. And Kira is acting as the audience surrogate. Wolf has his own plan. Also, Dolph is trying to relate to Kira and having siblings and parents killed? What's going on with that? I'll need to make my moves, but I'll need your support. I'll help Master Dolph. hands behind the back, because Kira lives to serve, apparently. Creepy smile. Very creepy smile. <laughs> Dangerous, my lord. Eh, Zeno! You put too much trust in that girl. Take care of how you speak to me. Forgive me. By the way, um, for those of you that are familiar with my Shrana role-playing campaign, yes, I totally stole Zeno's name. Has nothing to do with the actual character in this game. Also, this is very inappropriate music in my mind for Zeno. But, now that you mention it, I'd like to keep our eye on her for a while. It shall be as you command. Because nothing says evil like having a staff with a skull on top of it while you wear this mysterious mask. Duh. Do I actually get to move? 
or am I immediately thrown into the next thing? Oh, I do get to move. Okay, so this is the point where we will be saving. Uh, I did not use any items this combat, actually. Um... Hmm. I seem to be missing something. Not, not Tojo. Do not want to go to the... Normally there's like a object in here like where we get the key we haven't gotten one for this chapter everybody's still saying the same thing and it's not the next couple of battles oh it is okay never mind we're good all right, um, we'll stop this here. I hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Go ahead and save, though. Bye! Do, 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 do.